So we're now moving on to applying the scenarios. Now there's two things that we need to do in applying the scenarios. First, we need to apply what impact we think that scenario is going to have on our actual business performance. So if you've been using the uh, spreadsheet that we send out uh, as the advanced materials uh, that you've completed with what you think the impact is going to be, they get input on the spreadsheet over here. So what we're looking at here is we set some target performance numbers based on our initial scenario. Now, based on, for example, a pessimistic impact, what is the impact going to be on each of these core metrics? So in this example, on the pessimistic, pessimistic uh, scenario, we're suggesting that revenue is going to go down from a million dollars to 500,000. That costs are going to go from 500,000 only down to 400 and so forth. So these three scenarios, we're trying to dollarize or, or use the performance metrics to reflect what we think that scenario would have on our business as things stand. Again, this is the first step. The second step, though, is to consider what is management going to do in reaction to that? So if we do see that we're in a pessimistic scenario, the economy in this example is not progressing as we thought, how might management change our strategic priorities? Now, this is tough to get your head around. We have a strategy right now that says uh, we have a certain weighting on innovation. And if, this, if the economy cavitates, we're obviously going to stop that focus and change our weighting on that strategic objective to focus on things where we can be successful in a down economy. To help you think about this, let's step away from work for a second and go to you know, an example of your child going through school. If your child comes back from school and uh, uh, maybe does not come back with the grades that you would like, you effectively re-weight that child strategy map. You're going to say, let's put a higher focus on schoolwork and we're going to throttle back. We're going to change the weighting down to your social life and, uh, and other sports and so on so that you have the capacity available to focus on this more important thing, your grades. So you change the child's strategy based on the scenario that turns out unfolding. So what we need to do now is take a look at the three scenarios or four scenarios that you're modeling and try to understand how the organization would react to it. How are we going to change our focus around that particular scenario and then update that in the spreadsheet. I'll show you how to do that right now. So back at the spreadsheet, the first step is to understand and uh, document how we think our performance will change based on the new scenario. So in the scenario of the go nowhere, I have uh, forecast that revenue is going to decrease. Let's say it's only going to decrease to 750,000. Uh, costs, uh, let's assume costs remain the same and so forth. We can begin to say what is the business impact of that scenario. It's important to note that that's step one. The second step is to then figure out what we're going to go do about that particular impact in running the business. Let's just go over here and uh, split my screen so you can see what we're talking about here. So now what are we going to do about it? The weighting might shift. So in this example of go nowhere, I might go, I'm going to not change my uh, priority setting around drive revenue, but I'm going to increase my focus on reducing costs. I'm going to decrease my focus on supplier of choice. I'm going to significantly increase my focus on delivering great value. I'm going to uh, remain the same on pricing, remain the same on operational excellence, throttle back considerably on innovation based on the fact we're going nowhere, and uh, continue to push hard on innovation. And so uh, now we have a new uh, scenario strategy that allows us to begin understanding how we're going to be changing the dynamics of the business going forward. So two steps. Understand the transactional performance impact and then secondly understand therefore how we're going to shift our weighting going forward. Now we've built the three scenarios and are ready to go forward.